It's a great pleasure for me and an honor to be with you folks today. And I'd like to congratulate Mr. Raymer for uh, thinking up such a great idea as this meeting. I've enjoyed very much the presentations which we've, which, which, which we've heard, and they've not only been interesting, but informative. I see that the operating scene there is before you. As you know from my bibliography, I am a cardiac surgeon. And one way to prolong your life, of course, if you need it, is to have some surgery. And I spent most of my life doing coronary artery bypass grafts. This is for people who have this coronary disease and are in danger of having a heart attack, as you know. It's expensive and it's painful, and it's much better to prevent this condition if we can. Now, I'm here to talk to you about prolonging your life. <clears throat> uh, there are many suggestions that people have about how you can do this. Some people say you should take vitamins, supplements, minerals, hormones, and so forth. But it's actually much simpler than that and much cheaper. The fact that I have lived a little longer than the average and have worked a little longer than the average does not qualify me to give you an explanation of how you can prolong your life. <clears throat> People have all sorts of theories about this, but there's been good scientific uh, investigation done into what lifestyle will help you live longer. And whereas I am not an authority on it, there are those that are, and they spent a considerable period of time in studying this subject. And I'm going to refer you to three sources which I consider to be at the cutting edge of longevity. These three books are The China Study, The Blue Zone, and How to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. The Blue Zone was written by a young uh, author who worked for National Geographic. He teamed up with a group of scientists and doctors and studied those places around the world where people lived the longest. And what they found out was that these places were in Okinawa, Sardinia, Costa Rica, and Loma Linda, California. Now, I don't know much about, Loma, about uh, these other places, but I do know about Loma Linda because I've lived there for 50 years. <clears throat> and the reason why his attention was drawn to Loma Linda was because a fellow by the name of uh, uh, Gary Fraser wrote an article on the longevity of Adventists in California. Now, there's a, quite a group of people who are Adventists live in Loma Linda, which is a university town, and they picked that out as the name for the study. But it's really a comparison of the Adventists in California uh, to the regular population. And they found out that a <coughs> Adventist male who's a vegetarian will live 9.5 years longer than a male in the regular population in California. Now, the Adventists have a certain lifestyle, as you know. Uh, they don't smoke, they don't use alcohol, caffeine beverages, and they believe in a whole plant-based diet. So apparently, this gives them quite a bit of advantage. <coughs> the 
study which was done, this is a picture of uh, Loma Linda Medical Center. And I want to direct your attention to this book written by Colin Campbell of uh, Cornell University. And he made a study of 880 million Chinese and he discovered that those that had the best health on a plant-based diet. And that the ones that used animal products were the ones that had the Western diseases. But the most significant uh, work that I know of that's been done on the prolonging life has been done by uh, Caldwell Esselstyn of the Cleveland Clinic and Dean Ornish of San Francisco. Now these individuals are the only people that I know of that have actually shown by laboratory studies that they can arrest and reverse coronary disease. They both, both of these people used a plant-based diet, actually a low-fat vegan diet. Now I want to show you this angiogram here, the one that's on the left, you can see the roughening in the coronary arteries, and then after they put the individual on a vegan diet for several months, you see that that's cleared up. Now an outstanding example of a person who's followed this program is uh, our former president, uh, Bill Clinton. He had bypass grafts done in uh, 2004, and he thought that he didn't want to go through that again, and so he got on a vegan diet, and uh, he is an outstanding example of somebody that has done that. Esselton of the Cleveland Clinic, and any of you folks that know the Cleveland Clinic know that this is the leading center for the treatment of coronary artery disease in the world. The Cleveland Clinic developed uh, coronary angiography. They developed first coronary bypass grafts, and they are considered to be the leading center in our country, and I believe the world. So when um, Esselstyn makes a statement, and he does it from a position of authority, he's been at the Cleveland Clinic for 35 years. He even married the granddaughter of George Crile, who founded the Cleveland Clinic. And he has, as I've stated, and you've seen, actually reverse coronary artery disease. In our country, one out of every two men and one out of every three women uh, dies of coronary disease, so that's, that's pretty significant. In summary, if you want to live 10 to 15 years longer, you should live on a whole plant-based diet. Now, I emphasize whole plant-based because you can be on a plant-based diet and it can be refined so that it is not as healthy as it would be if it had all the nutrients in it. And it's valuable that you take some nuts with your uh, diet. It has been shown that people that eat nuts regularly extend their life for two years. Actually, uh, this matter of drinking water is important. If you drink six glasses of water a day, uh, you will have better cardiac health than if you drink less. It has been estimated that it will reduce the coronary artery disease 
by as much as 50%. You should keep lean, you should not smoke, and you should keep your cholesterol under 150. It's almost unknown for a person to have a heart attack if his blood, blood cholesterol is under 150. Finally, you should have a good attitude. A person has got to have mental peace if he's going to have longevity. I thank you very much.